notice I'm in my suit, which means I'm pumping. Actually double hosing it, which is uh, great. As you can see, something is missing. That's right, Rich is off and up. Back at uh, the terminal, he's got some his sleep study to do and uh, spend Christmas with a couple of uh, good friends of his down in uh, Springfield. I'm going home after this, spending Christmas with my family. And then after that, we're gonna hop it. We're gonna get rolling, get going. We got uh, 15,000 more miles to do. We gotta do it before February 14th. Well, February 12th. We're going home on the 12th. <laughs> so, which I think we can do it. We did, uh, we did like 8,000 miles within like two and a half weeks. And for Taker, that's actually pretty good in all honesty. For the amount of sitting we did, um, sitting in tank washes, sitting in customers, loading and unloading and other such stuff. So, it's not too bad of an ordeal. Um, so, but uh, yeah, Rich is, uh, Rich is off the truck for now. Um, I'm pumping, yay, dog food digest, or tap food digest actually. Um, here at Cargill in Kansas City. Um, Today is Monday the 20th. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah. Yeah. My sinus has been bad all day and all day yesterday. So I may sound nasally. Um, but I'm trying not to put the sun in y'all's face. Uh, and pay attention at the same time. Ah, uh, let's see. So, uh, man, I got some stuff I need to talk about, but I can't remember exactly what I need to talk about. Uh, yeah, this is staying in here. <laughs> um, so, let's see. Kind of want to give a shout out to, uh, Brock. Had dinner with him yesterday, last night. He's new, just started orientation today. Um, give a shout out to him. He was a really cool guy. Uh, so I had to give him all the tips and tricks I could for orientation and whatnot. So, uh, he's actually, uh, he's actually doing all that fun stuff today. Um, give a shout out. I, I still want to give a shout out to uh, uh, Ethan's with that costume. I've been trying to make uh, content and uh, the last couple of days it's just been kind of oof. But um, uh, I got some stuff. I got some stuff coming for it. I, I definitely uh, trying to execute it is really my issue. Uh, I've got I got tons of things for the uh, TikTok with the unicorn suit, which uh, if y'all don't know about that, uh, uh, Heathens Trucking LLC. I'll have his uh, his his uh, I can't speak English today for some reason. Uh, I'll have his channel linked in the description. Uh, he uh, he made a bet with me that. Uh, I wouldn't dance around in a unicorn suit if he got it for me. I told him I bet. And uh, he sent it to me. And I made a TikTok video uh, of how unicorns are, uh, are rare. The prime tankers are considered unicorns. Uh, so uh, I did a little, a little video on TikTok. I've got my TikTok linked in the description too. Uh, that's gonna be the more fun, random, crazy shit uh, I do. Um, yeah. 
I like to have fun. If you're not having fun at work or in life at all, you're no fun at all. Um, so that's kind of my motto. But uh, so uh, yeah, I want to give a shout out to him for giving me the suit. Yeah, Heathens, if you're watching this, I am trying to make content. I just have been having trouble the last couple of days trying to ex execute that content. So it is on the way. Um, I might be able to make something, uh, at least set it aside for editing uh, once I get home and uh, just before I come out. Uh, so. But, yeah, uh, I've got that, I've got the TikTok. I've opened up my Twitter account. Uh, so, if y'all don't want to go in the Discord, or y'all don't want to go in the Driver Lineup Mighty Network, and add all kinds of other new social media platforms, if y'all have a Twitter, then, and y'all want to ask me questions, y'all can ask me questions through the Twitter account. Uh, I don't really use Twitter, in all honesty. It was actually just there for a communication tool for uh, uh, gaming. And, um, well, my last, my last several years, I haven't been gaming as hardcore as I used to. So, Twitter kind of has gone dead. And, uh, so, uh, uh, pretty much, it's just open for uh, questions and stuff. So, if y'all have questions, y'all don't want to open all those social media platforms and stuff, uh, y'all can message me on Twitter. Uh, so, uh, and then, like I said, I'm in the driver lineup, Mighty Network social media. Uh, it's actually a good place for a lot of truckers. Uh, no matter what company you work for, it's a good little social media platform. Uh, I'm sure most of y'all watch Driver Lineup. If you don't, you know, go watch his content. Uh, it's, I'll have his channel linked in the description. Which, like I said, most of y'all probably already watch him anyways. But, uh, like, if you don't... He's a real cool guy. I've met him several times, but I've talked to him quite a bit. And uh, his vision of getting a, a network of drivers together to get stuff done uh, actually works a lot better than anybody else has been trying. So it's like uh, the Discord, it actually feels like family. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we fight and we chew at each other. Um, you know, but like we're... We're family, man. So, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've got that. Um, I probably won't have any videos on YouTube the next couple of days. I'll probably put up a a Merry Christmas video. Um, you know, it's the holidays. Uh, you know. Ah. Yeah, that's staying in too. By the way, JDQ, if you're watching, drink twice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the holiday I'm gonna spend with the wife. I haven't been spending a lot of time with her because I've been training. So I'm out on the road a lot more. And so I'm gonna spend a, a little extra time with her. So uh, I won't be making as much content over I'm gonna make some TikToks because I thought about involving her into it, but that's gonna be, I don't know, that's kind of up in the air. Um, but that's, uh, that's a lot of everything right now. Um, I'll be back Monday the 28th, and uh, from that point on, me and Rich are gonna, gonna push hardcore. So, you know, we'll be, we'll be out, we'll be humping it, we'll be everywhere. Gonna try to get some of these uh, West Coast loads that are gonna be like 1,800 to 2,200 miles because Rich really needs the miles right now. And in all honesty, those loads kind of pay pretty decent for uh, for the deadhead and the loaded miles. 
so uh, it's, it's not going to be too bad for the both of us. Uh, but Rich, Rich is coming along really good. Uh, in all honesty, he uh, hell, he can practically drive the truck by himself, but you know, I gotta be on the truck, and uh, that's kind of the kind of the thing. Uh, we're trying to look to see if we can't get him upgraded somewhat early, because uh, at this point, it's just. You know, we're just like a full team, team truck, instead of a trainer, trainee truck, you know, Rich has picked up everything, uh, how to do paperwork to get paid, uh, he's picked up his e-logs, because the last time he drove, he used paper logs, and uh, so it's a little bit different, you know, some of you guys, if you've done paper logs, swapped over to e-logs, y'all kind of like, understand the concept of how you know, how similar they are other than the fact that like e-logs you can't change them they are they are set in their ways paper logs you can throw one out and rewrite it so but uh yeah he's gotten used to the e-logs uh charge uh changes off duty uh his filling and his pre-trip and post-trip inspection uh, uh, his trip planning, uh, he's getting a lot better at that. Uh, finding, uh, finding his places to stop. Uh, looking at, uh, looking at the 90s and the 01s to pick up some of the deliveries and kind of visualizing where to go in, where to check in and all that good information that he needs. And, uh, all that. Uh, he also, he's also getting like, he's understanding some of the lanes and the routes and whatnot, so, you know, he's coming along great. He's, like, practically a truck driver now. I just got to wait for the okay from, you know, the higher-ups to get him in his own truck. So, uh, by the way, if y'all want to come to Prime, uh, I got Dustin Hensley's information down in the in the description he is a great recruiter he is an amazing person if um, uh, if you contact him and get a hold of him he can help you out whether you want to go taker flatbed reefer it doesn't matter he is a lot better knowledgeable than what I've heard most recruiters have been uh, on the tanker side so if you do want to come tanker he is a very good person to contact to get uh tanker information so uh, contact him tell him i sent you uh, and uh like i said i've got all my information in the description and uh you can contact me several different ways uh, I'll be getting a business phone come January, and uh, that's pretty much gonna just gonna be used for Prime. So that number will actually be in the description come in the future as soon as I get that. That way, if you wanna wanna call or text to uh, ask questions or whatnot, uh, you know you'll have you'll have that number. It'll be down in the description. So, um, but that won't be until January. So, but uh, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, I'm gonna finish up here. As soon as I'm finished up here, I'm going home. Uh, all you guys who are out on the road for the holidays, y'all be safe out there. Be careful. You know, be yourselves as always. And peace out, guys.